what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I got a, a question that says, please read, and the please is in capitals, so I must read it. Uh, what can I do? I cannot disobey a capitalized word, please. I mean, come on, people, what do you think here? So, anyway, I am gonna read you a question here, and it is a mystery question. It's about politics and tech industry, so maybe I've, maybe I've caught your attention here. I've done some videos on, on should you discuss politics and religion at work, but, that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about specifically politics and that kind of politics. <laughs> anyway, uh, before we get into that, I do want to take a moment to talk about uh, the cool sponsor that we have at Simple Programmer, which is Hired.com. Uh, they're pretty awesome. Like I said, I do not normally do sponsorships because, uh, you know, I got to really like the company. I do like Hired.com, so uh, I gave them my thumbs up. So if you go to Hired.com for slash Simple Programmer, it's real simple. You're basically going to get double the sign-on bonus bonus that you get. So normally if you get a job through Hired, they actually pay you like a grand, I think. And they're going to double that and pay you like two grand. And uh, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, go check it out. It's really, if you're looking for a job, even if you're not looking for a job, you just want to see what this process is like to go apply and see how companies come to you. Right? You just got to you gotta meet some screening, right? Not everyone who applies, right? There, there's a filter level, so I'll warn you ahead of time. But it's kind of cool to have things flipped around where companies are coming after you. So hire.com slash simple programmer. Now, let's talk about this. Let's see if I can read from here to my screen. I'm, I've kind of backed up a little bit so I can look a little bit more buff in the light. You know, that's why the real reason why I do stuff is just so I look better. So anyway, it says, hi, John. I've been watching your videos for a month now, and I must say that I am very similar in that I agree with almost all the topics that you've discussed regarding relationships, self-development, taking personal responsibility, and fitness, that's right. <laughs> With that said, today I'm writing you about the political culture that exists in software development. From what I understand, the industry has become very liberal progressive and PC as demonstrated by Mark Zuckerberg censoring conservative news and other companies fighting for more H1B allowment. All right. Okay, I think that's the opposite, but that's fine. All right. Normally, I do not care about what other people think of me, but because I'm about to get into the field, this can have direct negative consequences on my career development due to my right-leaning views. So I wanted to know if you experience the same problems and how to deal with it. I understand that a lot of career growth is based on networking and how many people like you as well as your skills. So I wanted to ask your opinion on the topic. Thanks for reading a big fan, Kevin. So Kevin, I'm trying to sort the question out of this. So, so I'll just talk about the subject, right? So you're right. You're the, the tech industry is being little baby girls. <laughs> Oh, being, what is it, politically correct, we'll, we'll say wusses. And you're not like that, you're like me, you're, you're, you, you say you're like me, right? And you, everyone, what is it, everyone assume that I'm not a, a, I'm a, I'm a liberal democrat? Come on, guys. <laughs> no, what am I? I'm nothing. I'm nothing. I'm not one. I don't belong to, quote, a party. I, I, hello, wake up, wake up. Do, what are you doing? Do you think that like some party is gonna define your entire belief system and you're just gonna go toe to toe and believe every single thing that is in whatever party it is, whether it be left or right? Some of you just don't have a damn clue, seriously. You represent your own viewpoints and your own ideas, right? Don't just get stuck in some part. Now, yeah, maybe one side or the other is going to make a lot more logical sense. In fact, you know, uh, I, I definitely have a, a leaning, right? We should all have some kind of a, of a leaning, but let's not align ourselves completely with a party, right? Let's not just, you know, drink whatever Kool-Aid that one master gives us why, why do we have to pick one, one master? Why do we have to be a slave to one side, right? So let's wake up here. Let's be a little bit smart about this. And so that's my answer. That's really what my answer is, is, is this. It's basically, 
you know what? You can have intelligent conversations and you can be open-minded. It doesn't mean you change your, your views. It means that you're capable of changing your views. That's what open-minded means. Open-minded doesn't mean that my brain is yours to uh, pillage and, and rape and do whatever you want with. It doesn't mean that at all. What it means is that you're willing, that when you talk to people, they know that you are coming from a place of wanting understanding and wanting to find mutual understanding and that you're willing to move a little bit if you, if you hear reason, but they got to present reason to you. So that's, that's what my answer is, is yes, in, the, in this, you know, I'm fighting, right? I'm, we're, we're on the same side here, right? I think we should all be on the same side, which is, and if you're watching this channel, you're, I hope you're on the same side, which I am, which is, yeah, let's fight this bullshit, right? All this political correctness, all of this, uh, you know, very much uh, progressive type of attitude that, that, that sponsors, is a sponsor of victimhood, right? We could have some different views on gun control. We could have some different views on how money should be used and how big the federal government should be and things like that. But you know what? <laughs> principles are principles. We can't violate principles and survive. We can't violate principles. You, you can't, you can't uh, reap what you didn't sow, right? So, so let's think about principles, right? Let's, let's not think about politics. Let's think about principles. I think that's a better place to come from. So what am I trying to say here? What I'm trying to say is this, is yeah, I'm fighting a battle, right? I mean, I did that whole video on Douglas Crockford because that was some bullshit and I wanted to make fun of it because that's some bullshit. Like you don't invite someone, you know, a really, uh, you know, well-respected man and then you uninvite him and, tr and try to embarrass him and make it, you know, make a whole big thing out of, out of nothing and, and publicly shame people, right? You don't do this. This whole social justice warrior thing, I'm against this. I'll stand against this. It doesn't mean that I lean some political direction, right? It has nothing to do with that, right? I don't, I don't support every single thing on any side. I'm on my own side, right? I may side with with, with people to form allegiances from time to time to accomplish what I think is right and accomplish what is beneficial to me and what I think is beneficial to the world. But it doesn't mean they own me and they should own you, right? So what I'm saying is this, as you come into this tech field and you gotta deal with some of this crap, figure out ways to deal with it that's not gonna harm you. I have a YouTube channel. I don't have to answer to shit. I don't have to answer to anybody. I can say, I could get away with it a little bit more, right? I did that video on, on politics and religion. I talked about this idea, right? It, it's sort of my mission, okay? But that might not be you. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to speak out against every single thing, but maybe you can lead people to logical conclusions or, or maybe you can just avoid this topic altogether, right? I mean, there's stuff that happens that's gonna happen in the tech industry, that's gonna happen in the corporate world, in the job. I, I can't get angry about everything, right? A bunch of crap happens. I look at my Facebook and I see people posting all kinds of whiny victim stuff. And you know what? Oh gosh, I, I wanna respond, I wanna be like, you are such a whiny, pansy ass. What the hell? Grow up. Stop being a victim, right? How many times are you going to put this crap on here? Why are you trying to like sympathize with, with, with some minority group? Because you don't actually care. You just, you just want to be seen as, as, as some magnanimous person who, who cares about some minority group. You don't actually care. You, I don't see you doing anything. I, I, what are you doing? Where's your money, right? I want to post that, but I don't. Instead, what you know what I do? I just shut the browser window because ignore that stuff. It's, you're not going to make any difference. Find the places where you do make a difference, where it does count, and do stuff there. And take action. Don't say words. Don't post crap on Facebook. Don't get into arguments with your coworkers about affirmative action and equal pay for women and Black Lives Matter and all this crap. That's not doing anything. What does that matter, right? So if you're worried about that kind of stuff, yeah, you're going to see all of that kind of stuff and you're going to see people that, that cower to the majority and that will bow down to political correctness and will serve this master because they feel like it makes them a good person to, to not use their own brain, to let other people control them, to, to, uh, to do what they think is, quote, right, not what they actually think what is, is right, but what they've been told is right. 
they're 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 living in a trap, right? Especially the the bitter ones. So. What I'm saying is don't be like that and don't worry about those people. There's going to be that that exists. You're just going to have to turn your head and say, okay, fine. You know what? They're going to have this discussion, whatever. Right. And, and that's it. Right. I mean, hopefully, you know, again, on this channel, I've avoided a lot of political stuff, right? I haven't come out and supported a presidential candidate. You know, I could do that. I could easily do that. I haven't. Right. I, I haven't dealt with what I've dealt with is principles and some of those principles. Some of you have noticed align with uh, with more on the right side. OK, good, good observation. Right. Because I feel like, you know, it changes from time to time. But there's definitely problems with victim mentality. There's definitely problems with telling people that they need help, that they can't do it on their own that you know that we need to cripple the the legs of people that are doing it on their own in order to you know to to serve the the people who based on need rather than and capability that that doesn't make sense i reward capability i reward hard working i reward you know the enthusiasm and the 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 grit to do things not not just based on need so Gosh, I'm going on a, on a whole tire. But what, what I'm saying is this, is essentially this. Don't focus on the politics, right? As you get into this field, there's plenty of people that will try to suck you down into the battle. There's plenty of people that will try and pull you onto their side and will want your brain and your mind and want you to blindly follow what they follow because that's what everyone else is doing. Don't do that. And don't argue with the people that it's not going to make a difference. Instead, live a principled life. You know what principles that make sense, right? You, you, you agree with some of the things that you've said that you've seen on this channel. And that's what I'm trying to do. And sometimes some of those, those principle statements are going to cross political grounds and you're going to have to stand your ground, right? I've had to stand my ground several times on this channel. And sometimes you'll have to do that. But don't be one of the brainwashed masses. Wake up. If you do that, yeah, maybe it'll cost you a job. Maybe it'll be some headaches sometimes. But for the most part, at least when you take a stand, it'll be based on a principle, not on a political persuasion, not on a stupid argument that doesn't have any backing, that has no teeth. So much of the crap on Facebook, so much of the crap on the news, so much of the crap on Twitter and all the crap going on has, has no meaning. It has no teeth. It's just words. It's just calling people out. Don't be like that. Anyway, I hope that helps you. I know I've spewed a lot here, but, um, but I, I believe it. I believe that if you live that way, uh, being true to yourself, not defending some stupid cause, not, not being, <laughs> you know, loyal to, to some brand, but living what, by what you think is right and doing it by mostly by example, less words, more example. That's the way to go. And you know, if you're doing that, you'll be willing to take whatever consequences come along that way. And, uh, and you won't shy away from conflict and, and you won't be afraid to, uh, to stand your ground when you need to. Anyway, that's enough of this. If you like this video, if, uh, if you're, if you're not, if you're not totally dissuaded by my politics, <laughs> click the subscribe button. Uh, if you, if you are, if you want to just like hear what other kind of crap that I can spew out of my mouth, just click the subscribe button and I guarantee you, you will get your fill. Uh, anyway, uh, I do want to tell you one more time, go to simpleprogrammer.com slash hired if you haven't, check them out already and I will talk to you next time. Take care.